Yeah, that's so, yeah. And so, uh, my name's Sam, this is my first time doing stand up. So. <laughs> my stand up virginity tonight and it's reassuring to know that whatever happens next this set has already lasted longer than I did when I lost my actual virginity <laughs> so, anyways, no. it's not so much a joke but more a statement of fact but. <laughs> okay yeah so I come from quite a religious family uh, I actually waited until my wedding to have sex for the first time in hindsight I probably should have done it with my wife <laughs> <laughs> after a couple of beers my uncle Keith can be quite persuasive <laughs> You should have seen the biggest face. He was, he was mortified. But um, and we, just, we did sort of overshadow my wife's wedding bells as well, which was a little bit out of order. But loosen me, loosen. Uh, speaking of my wife, she's here tonight. Round of applause for my wife, Lena. Yeah, she's from Tanzania, so a little bit different, a little bit exotic. Uh, I've tried my best to get rid of her. I'll be honest. But she stuck around, uh, sent six anonymous tips to the Home Office. <laughs> Joined the EDL for a bit. <laughs> Still no joy. And uh, more recently gave uh, the wrong directions to this place tonight, told her it was in Leeds. <laughs> but here she is. <laughs> I'm out of ideas, so if anyone's got any suggestions after this, then give me a shout. Joking, of course. It's, our, actually, it's actually our wedding anniversary coming up. Uh, we're very happy together. Yeah. 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 Wedding anniversary in a few weeks. Um, slightly spaced on what I was going to say next. Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, I might just skip that bit and move on to the next one. <laughs> first, first time, guys. Come on, come on, a bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah no, uh, I'll say it again. We're very happy together. Um, can't stress that enough. We've actually got a three-year-old son. Not sure where he is, but we, we've got one. Um, no, uh, he'll turn up somewhere, he usually does. I've put my email address on his collar. Someone usually gets in touch. Uh, I should check my spam folder, actually. Remind me about that afterwards. Maybe. Uh, no, I know I think my wife's filming this, so there's a good chance he might watch this in a few years. So some just joke, just jokes of course, Dad loves you very much. And uh, sorry about the hairline. <laughs> uh, but parenting, in my opinion, parenting is a lot like the male appendage. Sometimes it gets really hard. And, for example, the birds and the bees, the talk, it's always awkward, isn't it? When do you do it? A lot of parents leave it too long, in my opinion. Uh, I gave my son a talk on his second birthday. <laughs> so I ru ruined the mood at his party a little bit. <laughs> a lot of people left early. <laughs> One day he'll thank me <laughs> when he's old enough to talk properly. Uh, no, but on a, uh, seriously, parenting does change you. You know, it encourages you to try new things, which is a good thing in my opinion. Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, for example, the, uh, the last year and a half, I've been posting regular videos on TikTok or as my friends and family call it, having a mental breakdown. <laughs> For anyone who's not familiar with TikTok, uh, it's a bit like Instagram, but instead of pictures of half-naked women, it's uh, videos of half-naked women. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, the, the women on TikTok are slightly younger, so you've got to be careful as a 30-year-old man <laughs> leaving comments on videos. <laughs> got, to, got to tread carefully. <laughs> Um, so there's basically, yeah, basically three categories of people who, um, who, who post content on TikTok. Uh, you've got this, uh, younger women, slightly younger women, and the fully grown, fully dressed men who seek validation from teenagers <laughs> by recording themselves talking into their phone. I won't tell you which category I fall into. <laughs> right, so I'll just leave you on a, a slightly more serious note. Uh, I know it's a comedy night, uh, you probably wouldn't get it from the last few minutes, but... but uh, I'd like to leave you a slight uh, more reflective moment. So for the last, um, last 18 months, you had a really rough time. Uh, everybody has. Uh, but I think it's important to remember the things you've got to be grateful for. Uh, I'll give you an example of my life. Uh, last Christmas, my family and I just had our Christmas dinner. I sat down on the sofa with my son. Uh, he actually fell asleep in my lap. And uh, I looked down and I remember thinking, wow. You know, despite everything that's happened over the last 12 months, I'm so grateful to have you in my life. 
simply the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's a black leather corner sofa, DFS. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>